Okay, I'm back again. Um, pardon the crappiness of this video because I'm still very tired and um, a little bit ill, as you know from my last video. All right, I'm gonna do the IFL 2007 finals today. Um, there are some interesting fights. There are some there are some kind of one-sided fights. I mean, it goes both ways on this card. Um, this will be done in no particular order because I have no idea what the order of the fights are going to be on, anyways. So uh, here here we go. First up, we have Ryan McGivern versus Fabio Leopoldo. Um, taking Fabio with a second round submission because he's very good on the ground. McGivern is also good, is a good wrestler, and he's also good on the ground, but I think it's just too much of a difference, and we'll get a submission. Second round next, Bart, Bartimus Palaszewski versus, I'm um, going to give this guy's name a shot, but I'm not going to promise to get it right. Davidis Tarosavikis. Let me know if I got that right. Now, uh, I'm going to call him the Lithuanian, because that's what he is, uh, and I'm not going to keep trying to pronounce that name. He is a very tough guy. Uh, he has no way of finishing Palaszewski, in my opinion, though. I think Palaszewski is going to take him down. He's got a pound on him, but I think in the end this is going to go to a decision, and it's going to be an unanimous decision for uh, Bartimus. Uh, I don't see him finishing the Lithuanian. I've seen him fight before. I just you know, I have no idea how to say his name. Well, I have an idea, but not a good idea. Okay, next we have Ryan Schultz and Aaron Riley. Ryan Schultz has a very, very messed up personal life, I must say. I'm not going to go into details, but it's a little messed up. And he's fighting a solid ex-UFC fighter in Aaron Riley. Uh, Aaron's got a great jaw, despite the fact that it was broken by Spencer Fisher. But aside from that, he has a great jaw. Um, he's got good hands. They're they're decently heavy. Uh, he's I'm going to take him by a KO over Ryan Schultz, say the third round. Okay, next we have Brad. Bad Blackburn versus Travis Cox. Don't know a lot about Travis Cox. Do know a fair bit about Brad Blackburn. He's a fairly well-rounded fighter. His record doesn't show how good of a fighter he is. I'm going to take him by KO in the second round because he's got heavy hands. He's a pretty skilled striker, and he's got good ground defense and everything. Now I'm going to go a little bit against the flow though in the next fight, which is Jake Ellenberger versus Delson Heleno. Um, I'm going to take Ellenberger by decision because I don't think Heleno finishes him, simply put. And uh, Ellenberger is a better wrestler, I think. It'll be a bit of a lay and pray. Uh, there will be some striking on the feet. There will be some ground and pound. But uh, Ellenberger is not a terribly great finisher. But I'm, nonetheless, I'm going to take him by unanimous decision on this one. Next, we have a kind of one-sided match with Mike uh, Sanol, uh, I'm not really sure how to say his name, I've heard it pronounced a couple of different ways, Siesnovic, and uh, he's fighting Andre Guzman. Uh, Andre's a good fighter actually, but the problem is I think Mike is just too powerful, he's, a, he's, a, he's out of the Militich camp, he's a very strong wrestler. Uh, he's got good ground and pound. I think that's basically right there your, your answer. He's going to ground and pound him out second round. Uh, ben Rothwell, Tom Sawyer. I'm taking Ben Rothwell by uh, TKO in the first round. Cause Rothwell, in comparison to pretty much all the other heavyweights in uh, IFL, with possible exceptions of uh, Reese Andy and uh, Anton Jadud. I think I'm saying his name right. Or Jayoud or whatever. Um, is probably really just way too much for them, even though he lost to Roy Nelson, but still. I think they rematched you clobber him. Uh, next we have Jamal Patterson versus Chris Batten. Don't know a lot about Batten. I do know Patterson has some pretty sick groundwork, though. And as a result, I'm taking him with a submission in the second round. Next we have Holes Gracie. I've never seen Holes fight, but he is a Gracie, so we assume he has good ground game and he's fighting Sam Holloway. That pretty much ends the hope of Sam Holloway winning because I've seen this guy and his ground game needs some work. Definitely needs some work. Uh, I'll say it last to the second round before Holes pulls, pulls the uh, submission. He was, Holes was supposed to fight someone else, or, uh, and um, that fell through. 
and I actually was picking against him in that fight. I wish I could remember who it was I was picking, but uh, I'm taking him now that it is Sam Holloway. So uh, that fights, those fights are on Thursday. Um, I probably won't be around until probably Thursday actually when I get back from my workshop. Um, I'll be on Stick'em if you want to find me, but I probably won't be on YouTube because I won't have time to make videos. I'll be kind of here like late at night and I'm not going to do videos then. So anyways, uh, usual stuff, rate, subscribe, comment, uh, stupid stuff gets deleted, you're wasting my time and yours, etc. Et